at uh, Citizenship and Immigration Services. A lot of different use cases there. Give us one example. I think the most recent one, you know, people tend to think of immigration as fairly static in terms of, of its implementation for by law and statute, things like that. And, and there's some truth to that. Um, Until however, there's 12 policies that change, right? <laughs> exactly. Or sure. political world events change. Uh, okay. The most recent one being Afghanistan and Ukraine. Both times USCIS was called into action with very, very limited time notice. Um, and in fact, I think with Ukraine, we had, we were told start to finish, you, you, we needed to deploy an entirely new workflow um, to, a, to to ingest a series of, uh, you know, 16,000 uh, applications coming in from Ukraine alone. Um, and, and we had we had 10 days to do it. Um, now, this workflow was not a simple form. It, it was far more than that. It, it had to have all the logic built into it. It had to be able to reach out to multiple systems, not just within our enterprise, but across other enterprises. It had to be make decisions based on that information um, and then adjust that workflow accordingly. So there's a tremendous amount of logic, like real-time logic that needed to be there. Um, start to finish, we did it in eight days. So, you know, wow. the kind of capabilities that USCIS brings to bear, um, a lot of it's just based on long experience with agile and DevOps and, and how we approach problem setting. Um, but I can honestly say when this when they first dumped this on us, the first response you got from, you know, anybody in USCIS was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. It, it, it's that kind of can do, will do attitude that, that we have really come to see that cloud enables. Um, there's a few problems that we haven't been able to solve that, that, that cloud doesn't provide some level of backing for us to do it under. Things that we just simply couldn't have done. We never could have done something like this 10 years ago. Never right. Never and, years. and really um, turn it, unlock it uh, at the speed that you're talking about, the velocity. It, it really is just that velocity and the, and the ability to scale it. Um, because it's not just about the workflow. It's about the number of people are going to be hitting the system that we weren't used to before. You know, on an average month, USCIS sees externally about 16 million people or so um, hitting our systems at four, in different forms. Of fashion. That's kind of our service community, if you will, um, plus, you know, all of our internal clients, our internal users. So, you know, for us, though, that's just a normal day of doing business. So even though this is a massive spike in, 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 in load on us, honestly, the cloud, the way we scale, the way we, we were able to, you know, push out the, the various services and functions across the various, you know, uh, service account or services and platforms that we utilize, it just it, it was a normal day. It's like, oh, yeah, we did that. Now let's go back and do something else. 